Hey guys, John Popper here. We're going to do an unboxing of the Nintendo 64 online controller, the Nintendo Switch. Just going to open it now. There's the unit itself. If we open it up here, there is a USB-C cable, a manual, that's really it. I've been using it for a couple of days now, and it's been really good. Certain games on Switch, it will work, but there's only a limited amount of buttons, so not all games will have full functionality. Um, for example, I use Yoshi, Pretty good. GTA, you cannot steal a car. Um, but it's just a regular Nintendo 64 controller. It's got switch buttons that you'll be familiar with on the back. Uh, but besides that, it's completely identical. It does work on Bluetooth. So if you've got a PC, Raspberry Pi, Mac, Linux, um, it works there. Uh, it was a hundred bucks, um, but what was good is the guy gave us some free Pokemon cards. So um, it ended up being a really good deal. I like it. I think it's about 10 out of 10. There's no rumble pack, but there is rumble function. Um, all the buttons work and it's completely identical. You don't necessarily need a, a Nintendo Online Pass. Some of the Switch games will work as I said. Um, but I'll show you in a sec some Nintendo 64 ROMs working and it works completely identical. Hold on, let's go there now. Back again guys, we're going to show you some Mario 64. So this version of Mario 64 is a, a remake by the fans. This is not the one that's available on Switch. Um, as you can see, running around Mario, he can jump, do all the things he does, uh, the camera. Um, so as, as you can see, it's a really good experience overall. Um, I'll show you some Switch games, which are not necessarily designed for this. More than likely, you'll have to buy this controller off of eBay, like I did, because I don't have a Nintendo Switch online. So this is Yoshi's Craft Evolve. So this is a game that's not designed for the Nintendo 64 controller. But as you can see, I'm jumping. I haven't noticed anything that it doesn't do. I've played this game a lot, but I'm not very good at video games and stuff, so there could be a certain feature that I'm not remembering. I'll forget anything. Um, but what I'll show you in a sec is the Nintendo 64 ROMs. So for people that have a hack switch, this is tinfoil, an all-in-one file manager. And I'm able to launch Nintendo 64 crumbs off of it. So here in Nintendo 64, we're gonna play some we'll play a ROM hack here. This is Luigi 64. A game that does not officially exist. It's me, Luigi. Oh. Hello. And he's the 
say that if I start and work. Don't let us skip this or we have to wait. As you can see, it's, this is not even an official Nintendo 64 game. It does everything. The back button doesn't seem to be responding on this game like it did the other one. But this controller was completely designed only for that Nintendo Switch Online. So I think it's pretty good. I think I just need to remap the buttons. See if there's anything else I can show you guys. This is pure pull on the Nintendo Switch. We've been playing it for a couple of months now, I really like it. I have not tested this on the Nintendo 64 controller, so it could be an epic fail, could be good. Not even responding. Oh, there we go. These, these yellow buttons. I think they're called the C buttons. Yeah. As I said, overall, I would give the Nintendo 64 controller, they probably should have made it a bit better. There's the SNES controller, which has the two analog sticks, and it's basically a SNES version of the Pro Controller. So they could have done added two extra buttons, and made this for every single game. It may have looked a bit ugly, but overall, Chun Pop is giving this an 8 out of 10.